Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Kizzy and today we are going to be organising my bookshelves five different ways. Okay, well I say five. At the moment I can only think of four, but I'm hoping to add a fifth one by the end. <laughs> so, we're going to go straight into the first one because I think this is going to be quite a long video, so we're going to keep it together. And I think, let me get my phone. Where is it? Where have I put my list? So starting off with the first one, and I think probably potentially the most boring of them all, or the most standard, is Alphabetical by Author. This is just really to get all my books organised, because if I show you at the moment, this is a little bit embarrassing, I'm not going to lie, because it's pretty horrendous. <laughs> I'm trying to press some petals of some flowers, but the petals were quite big, so I had to use a lot of books and a lot of pressure, and this is currently the state of my books. This is the state of my desk right now. I mean, it is a mess anyway. I will be cleaning this up before I start. I probably should have done it before this video. Um, but, you know, there we go. So, yeah, all my books are currently piled up on my desk. Or half empty shelves. Like that. So, yeah. Bit of a mess. We are going to sort it out. But, yeah. So, first up, alphabetical by author. most of my books in alphabetical order but I've kind of given up because one of the reasons is because I should have mentioned before but I forgot I want to change how I organize my bookshelves so I'm kind of doing this as a mini experiment just to see how it looks how I like it whether or not it fits for me so yeah that's why I'm doing it mainly as well obviously I thought it would be a cool video and maybe give other people ideas or I don't know you probably all thought of these ideas anyway but I just thought I'd do it anyway as a video and I've stopped doing it alphabetically by author because one oh my god it's stressful because I keep finding books I've forgotten or I keep forgetting shelves and then I have to rearrange all of the books and oh my god it's stressful and I don't like it <laughs> so in what noise there are good points so there are good points that all the series are together all the authors are together that like are the same series but there are other ways that it's not good. So if we have a look, here is the shelf. Let me turn you around because this is a good way to do it. So this is the shelf. This is how it is looking right about now. And it's a bit higgledy-piggledy. It's a bit jumbled. It doesn't look very nice. Aesthetically, I don't think it looks very great. And it, there's an annoying thing that I don't like is that things like Authors are split up, even though it's alphabetical, just because it doesn't fit on the shelf. Series are split up, so I've got two there, and the rest down there. And I just don't like it. It's just, yeah. I have a feeling there's going to be bad things and good things about all of them. And I completely forgot to include most of these. And that's just annoying, and I can't be bothered to work them all in now, because then I'd have to move literally everything, because I forgot one's right up at A, which is up there. So... Yeah, so that's what it looks like at the moment. I'm not sure. I don't think I like it. The next one we're going to try is, again, probably one of the boring ones that everyone does. This is how I actually organised my bookshelf before. This all happened, and it is by genre, and then alphabeticalised within the genre. So if you saw my weekly reading vlog a few other few few weeks ago, I organised my bookshelf and added more books in that I brought home from uni. And that's how I organise it then. So if you want to skip to the next one because you've already seen me do this, feel free to do that. <laughs> organization number two is done and it's better 
but it's still not how I would like it. So when I did this before in the vlog that I mentioned, I did it like this, but I did paperbacks and hardbacks together and then did it like that. And I think that looks better, personally. But here is the shelf. So we have fantasy up here. It is my biggest genre. And then that ends down here. And then we've got, actually they should be moved to the end because they're sci-fi but ignore that then we've got dystopian and then the beginning of classic so we've got a little bit of mythology then two fairy tale books and then my classic start and then the other genres I was going to have was YA contemporary and this is the rest of my classics and also children's books that I have classics as well and then that's also contemporary so that probably would have gone in there if I had space but I didn't so that's what we've done so far I don't know I don't think I like it so, yeah. So those are the two that are kind of just, I don't know, how they go. But then the next method, I called the library method, even though, or the bookshop method, even though bookshops do it in alphabetical order, this, I'm not going to do it quite in alphabetical order. I'm going to do it by genre, because bookshops do it in genre. But I'm also going to make it more display-like, so with some books facing forward and that kind of thing, just be a little bit more creative and have a little bit more freedom. So I'm not going to do it in alphabetical order or anything like that. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> So, well, I haven't done all of it, um, I'm just doing the top few shelves because I know I'm just going to have to take them all down again to do the next two, but it's all fine, it's all for the vlog. So this is actually my favourite so far, I think aesthetically it's the most pleasing, yes it has less organisational kind of method to it, but I think it looks the best so far that we've done. So here we have the bookshop method I'm calling it. So. I don't know if you can see from this angle properly or if it's coming up better on camera but I've just used a little bit different actually I changed those around because I think they look too similar these two shelves but I've just changed the kind of I don't know just the feel of it so I have some forward facing some oh gosh I'm really shaking some forward facing some kind of laid like this like I think the Empire of Gold books themselves are slightly shorter than typical hardbacks so having them this way I think just makes them stand out a little bit better and then you can put them in between paperbacks because it looks a little bit less out of place and then I popped just a plant on there it looks a bit out of place but it, I don't know it was missing something so I popped it there <laughs> and then I just got some more forward facing ones and then this is how I would do my classics so at uni I've got a lot more kind of classic books and I would put them in by kind of publication because their spines look the same so I'd have all my English library collection together all the vintage collection, all the penguins, the different types of penguins, the oxfords all those kind of things together and then these are like mismatched hardbacks that I have so that's how I would do this one it's my favourite so far, there's no rhyme or reason, it's kind of done by genre still, like the fantasies all together and then you've got the classics Um, so yeah that's that one. Okay, my battery died. This is going to be a tight finish to this end of this vlog. I'm going to have to pause so often to charge my battery, but it's fine. So, as I was saying, the next one I'm going to try is the rainbow. Let's do it. shelf thing 
it's getting really hot in here but we're gonna we're gonna push through we've only got one more to do and yeah I don't hate it but I don't love it whenever I try and do a rainbow shelf it never looks as good as it does in the photos and other people's shelves on Instagram I just think I don't have enough books that have the same colour I just don't have enough books I think to pull it off or enough shelf space it just looks cramped and higgledy pickledy and just like a mess so yeah here is the shelf as you can see it doesn't really look like anything <laughs> so this is the shelf I had no idea what to do with my penguin classics I probably could have squeezed them in but yeah I just don't know I just don't know it doesn't look I don't know it just looks crap <laughs> So yeah, the rainbow shelf failed, I think. I just don't have enough of the same colour. Maybe we'll try a different way. You know what? I'm going to try a different way. Try the rainbow shelf a different way and get back to you. Hold on. Okay, I think that's better. I think I've done it better. So, I've gone, I did, was doing it off this picture on, just in Google that I found, where it had it kind of like slanted, like on the diagonal. And I think that works if you've got bigger shelves, but I don't. So, instead, I've done it like this. Where it just goes like along. I did start doing it on that side, but then I gave up. So it goes along in the rainbow. And doesn't that look better? I think that looks better. What do you think? Opinions? <laughs> Let me know. I think that does look better. It's still not my favourite, I think. I don't know. I feel like you need more of a neutral background whereas I've got like blue balls so I don't know but it does look better again I still haven't figured out how to put them in but it's okay so yeah that's the fourth one so the final one we have is we are going to be doing I'm going to put them in size order so hardback down to paperback and then I'm going to flip the books that I've read so that I can only see the books that I haven't read so then it hopefully encourages you to read your TBR or read the books that you haven't read instead of like buying books and it just makes it a bit more clear of what you've not read and what you have read. So this could either be really good and I'll have mainly, mainly, mainly all of them turned or it will reveal how bad of a buyer I am and reader because most of them won't be read. I think I've read a lot of them though so I'm, I'm optimistic. So yeah, I'm going to do that one now and then I'll get back to you. <laughs> my god that took a lot more effort than I thought I was going to do to do in this video. <laughs> I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. But we have done the final one. And actually it looks alright. I've read a lot more than I thought I was going to have read. So let me show you. So all the books that I have read are turned around so the pages are facing you. And then all the books I haven't read are still out so I can see them clearly. So... There you go, you can see all the books I haven't read on my shelves. It's not bad, is it? It could be a lot worse. So yeah, how do you think that looks? I'm not sure. I think it looks a bit weird. <laughs> I don't really know. Practically, it's not very good either. Like I lost a book, like I turned a book around I wasn't meant to, and then it took me forever to find it again. So practically, it's not the best. But, I mean, it would encourage you to read more, potentially, because you'd be able to see what you haven't read. And creating TBRs would be easier. But I don't know. I don't know. I know some people just have their shelves, like, the pages facing out anyway, if they've got quite a cool, kind of calm environment that they're trying to create. But I'm not sure. Tell me what you think of this one. I quite like that you can see the Starless Sea stenciled edges. They're my favourite. So overall, of that whole experience, I still don't know how I'm going to organise my shelves. <laughs> I don't know. I think maybe playing around with like the bookshop method is the best way to go but I don't know how I'll do that so I don't know maybe I'll figure it out or let me know in the comments what you think the best way was and I'll maybe do something like that and then maybe do a bookshelf tour in a few videos time if people would be interested in that but 
I don't know, maybe you're sick of my bookshelves like I am. <laughs> this, this has been a proper workout doing this. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video, as random as it is about to make and film. Um, I hope it's come across okay. <laughs> but yeah, thank you again for watching. Thank you for making it this far if you did. And I'll see you in another video. Oh yeah, like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I will hopefully see you in another video. <laughs>